Great, thank you. Yeah. Everything is so much better now. It's a difference. It's wonderful. Can't believe it. I don't know if you've spoken to her. I need to a little bit. I don't know if you've spoken to her. But I was waking her up every morning for the first two weeks just to check she was still all right. Oh. <laughs> Before I went to work, it was like, is it okay still? Is it doing no pain? You know, because <laughs> it's just unbelievable. It's just, you know, I don't know if you've read all the stuff on the internet for CRPS. It terrifies you, you know. And when you think that's their future, you're like, it really scares you. And then when you come home and she's walking and everything, it just, it's like, it can't be real, you know? It's it's just wonderful. And her whole future's changed again. It's marvellous. Um, it was just we rang up just to see how she got on, you know, and just on I don't know what I was expecting really. Probably just for her to maybe be a bit calmer or less anxious about everything. And her her sister wrong for me and I said to her oh um you know she, she said she's going really really and she, I went oh no what and she went come on she's walking and I went what you mean what do you mean walking how walking you know <laughs> and she went she went what no she's really walking she hasn't got any pain and I, I, and I just couldn't take it in it was like how can that be you know, all these drugs and everything, they try and everything, and it's, and you think, how can something in such a short time have such a major effect on somebody? I'm not sure about the difference in the types, because she had the um, allodineal, uh, you know, with the, the foot going blue and icy cold and then red and sweaty. And she had all of that, and we not being able to touch her foot and things. We've gradually been able to get the foot to bear a bit more touching, um, uh, but they, they've never actually typed her. I, I'd never heard anybody type her anyway. Um, it was hard to find someone that actually knew about it. One time she was taken to casualty because she was in so much pain she was passing out. And they didn't know about it. And the doctor had to Google it on his iPhone to find out what CRPS was. And her um, pain clinic doctor, Dr. Hempen's store, was absolutely lovely. She um, she said that um, it's, um, it's getting more known now, but some people have had it for years and years without being diagnosed. And a lot of people get called... Um, you know, they get called like they're, they're pretending because there's nothing they can see is wrong. There's no scan evidence and nothing. So you can't have this pain, you know, and you, all you want are drugs, you know. Well, that's not so, you know. It's, um, and that that is that was the worst part at the beginning for, for Catherine because um, it was just somebody to believe her that she was in this much pain from a twisted foot. You know, that's what was so, you know, you, you kept thinking, no, that, that can't be, she can't be that bad, you know, that um, then when you read the pain scales for CRPS and, you know, and then she starts passing out with the pain, she can't bear it anymore. You think, well, how can this be? Um, she'd been on... Um, well, it was either gabapentin or pregabalin, one of the, the two. And then uh, she was on morphine, and she was on, oh, what's that I'm she, they started her on amitriptyline, but that didn't do anything, none of them did anything. She had a magnesium block injected into her foot, and that didn't do anything. She said the best bit was she had half an hour of no pain. Oh, um, and the duloxetine is the other one she's been on, um, and they are now going to re start weaning her down off of that, so, and which is rather a nasty drug. She actually in, um, accidentally overdosed at Christmas on it, 
and she was really, really bad. She hallucinated, and um, it was terrifying actually watching her. It was, uh, it was very, very much a, a big low point for her. She was feeling like she couldn't go on much more. And she's very open-minded because I think she's one of those doctors who really did, would like to see her patients out of pain. She must see people in such bad way, you know, that she said it's the best news they've had in the clinic in a long, long time. Oh, that's you know, amazing. She, uh, she was absolutely bowled over by it, you know. I mean, I still... I still can't believe it. I still, I mean, the other day she'd all, my foot scratch and I went, what? what? <laughs> she said, no, 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 no. It's, you know, she said it's just, because she's obviously where she hadn't used her leg. <laughs> and she'd been, done a bit too much walking, you know. And, uh, and, the, and the good thing is, um, you know, she's got interest back in life. You know, she's looking for jobs, she's, you know, looking now, she's going to join a slimming world. She wants to lose weight. She wants to do things again. She's been going out. You know, there's there's a point to it all now, bless her. Whereas we thought it was really hard to keep her, her spirits up because you wanted to take it away and you couldn't, you know. That was so tough. Um, you know, it's, it's a hard being a parent sometimes. <laughs> No, it's it's you hear her laughing and that which you you realise how you haven't heard that for a long time, you know, and it's it's just marvellous. It really is. I can't thank you enough. You've really changed her life. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, you so should, much. You should be really proud of yourself because it, it is it is a miracle. It is a miracle. <laughs>